All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, today I'm gonna do a how-to. I'm gonna show you how I build the stone crab traps from uh, that I got from Cudjo Sales in the Florida Keys. But they give you everything. Uh, I lost two traps last year, and so I need to replace those two traps. But it's it's almost a, the same price to get all five in a kit than it is to buy one at a time. And uh, so I've just bought all five. We're gonna put them together. You can only you can only set five traps per person. So this is from Cudjo Sale. I got it from Cudjo Sale, and I think I gave one hundred and twenty-five dollars. I think it was one hundred and twenty-five dollars for five traps. You can't beat that, guys. That's that's a really good deal. And it takes a, last year I did it. It took one hundred and twenty pounds of concrete. So remember that because you got to put concrete in the bottom. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, stone crab season uh october 15th but you can start soaking your traps october 9th so i'm gonna put them together show you how to put them together so stay tuned Chew outs. Chew outs got to be put in. Caps, hinges, got a rope, buoys, and screws. So we're going to try to do this. Stay tuned. First thing we're going to do is you have to put this chew out in. That, what that allows it to do, the chew out goes right here. All right, what it allows it to do, if your trap gets lost or your, somebody runs over your line and your trap gets lost, the, the it's called a ghost trap at that point. Well, the crabs that get in there can chew out through this wood and get out of there. Most of them can, but that's what it's for. We gotta put this in and basically all you do, I'd like to put the pre-holes in it, so, with the drill. Say you guys need to try this if you never tried before. I think you really enjoy doing it. I do. Stone crab meat is some of the concrete, the bottom. All of them has it. Look at this. All of them has it. Just got this right here. So you have to put them in as so. See the hinges? They kind of slide in right there. That's how you do it. It just slides right in. That's so. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. But yeah, that's how it slide. Alright, now we've got uh, see how they just kind of clip into the side. Like so. Right, now we got the drill through there. We'll put some screws in there. But Got our hinges on. Now we're gonna put the cap on. And the cap, it's got four screws. Basically it just goes in just like that. Take screws. All right, we got the cap on. Got the four screws for the cap. And we gotta put the latches to lock it. We'll get them on there. What I've learned with these things, you have to drill them, but you want them, you don't want to get it too close to this. So you have, like if you get it too close to this, it won't turn. So you have to put out right about here. 
and it, so it turn just like that. But you have to drill the hole in it right there. These keep the, the trap down, locked. We've got our latches put in. So now see how they lock like this? It keeps it, the trap down. So I've got that one put together. And all right guys, see these holes right here? I like to take a coat hanger and just clip it the bottom off and run it through here instead of the nails. I think it, it gives it more support. So that's what I like doing. And then I run another one this way. And basically all I do, set this camera now. I really do. Quincy's coming over here in a little bit. He's gonna help me. Help me out. Got one in. I'm gonna run another one here for extra support. From from right here to here. The thing, I'm gonna run it through here. Just like so. Got that one in. And I'm just gonna bend off the other side like I did. And that's what it looks like. Right there, guys. So I'm gonna Finish putting the rest of these together. The other four, like I said, I bought five. So I'm gonna put the other, other five together. And it shouldn't take me long. I should be, I should be done just like that. All right, guys, and just like that, they're done. No, but I, I do wanna share something with you guys. Don't, you need to pre-drill pre the, the holes for the wood with a small drill bit. I over and tighten, I didn't pre-drill it and I over tightened it and I cracked one of the, it did have a knot in it, as you can see. But it, I uh, I cracked the one of the chew outs and you gotta have that in there, so I gotta get one, so. But, all right, we're getting ready to, I'm gonna go ahead and tie on the, the rope and I'm gonna show you how I do that. All right, I'm gonna show you how to tie a loop knot on this thing, but before I do that, I just wanna share with you it comes with a hundred foot one piece rope. So you gotta mark it off and cut off 20 foot of rope. All right, so piece of extra rope. This way, tie a regular knot, go through. It's basically the same loop knot as a fishing knot. So I don't know if you guys are used to that or not, but. And go back through the hole, the same hole. See how this comes out? Comes out just like that. And then you wrap around four times. And then back through. And then you just pull it tight. Hey right, guys. That will hold so you can pick it up and down. And it won't come undone. So that's the way I do it right there. The loop knot. That's all I use. Now for the other end, this is what holds your line straight down. This, this weight right here will hold your line straight down while you, uh, so you got any slack at all current, this will hold it down so the boats only have so much to run over in case they get close to your buoy. If you don't have this, your line will be, here's your buoy, and your line will be like this to the trap. That's a lot of rope for the boat to run over. You don't want that. So you just basically put your weight in. And I go down to probably about, I don't know, about three or four feet, about right there. What I do is, is that I take a hammer and hit this, and I'll show you. Back it like this. Just like that. It ain't gonna go nowhere after that. That's on there pretty good. So just tack it, you're good. Now, not first. Probably about, about, about three foot. Just tie a regular overhead knot like that. Tie another knot right here. Another overhand knot. Now, what, what I like to do is, is I like to take a zip tie. I got that knot there. I like to take a zip tie and tie it around that. Let me show you. I like to take a zip tie just to make sure nobody 
If my buoy comes off, it comes off, but I don't want nobody cutting my line, my trap, stealing my trap. I'm not stealing my trap, but cutting my line. Cause you got, believe it or not guys, you got some mean people out there, especially trappers that do this for a living. And sometimes if you, and you don't want to get too close to their traps because they, remember they're doing it for a living. We're doing it for fun. So. This buoy here, FWC says you have to put your name on there. And you, I'm gonna go ahead and put my name and my registration number. And I, the way you register these traps is you go online on FWC, and it don't cost nothing to register them, but you do have to go and register them and put that on your saltwater fishing license. But now we're ready to pour the concrete. And we're waiting on Quincy. Quincy will be here in a little bit. He's gonna help me put this concrete in there. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I mixed it up. You don't want to make it too wet. You don't want to make it too dry, but you want it to kind of go in there. And, okay, if it's too wet, it'll crack. If it's too dry, it might crack too. There it is. Think guys. I might even put uh good times with Al in the concrete. Alright guys, we got them all done. Got every one of them done. Now we gotta let them dry for three days. I like to let them dry for about 72 hours if we can. Yeah, they're all done. Got them. And this is the finished product. And FWC says you have to have a, a two inch R for recreational on, on your buoy. I put a red on mine. You can do any design you want, but a loop knot with a zip tie. Oh, and I put a red tie each time I set out these uh, traps. I put a red tie right here. That way, oh, and there's a, there's a groove right here. To the screw that kind of holds the the rope in like like that but these locks it down and I put a red tie right here around there that tells me if somebody's robbed my trap or not but yeah we're done so I hope I hope you liking this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it but uh if you if you watched it this far that means you wanna, you may wanna subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell, and you'll get me once every two weeks. But, uh...